the NFL on EA Sports. And we've got a pair of teams who not long ago had more Super Bowls than anybody else. It's the Niners and the Boys, and it comes your way next. In between the cities of Dallas and Fort Worth, it's Arlington, Texas. Host to the grand mecca of football, AT&T Stadium, the home of the Cowboys. Good to be in the booth with Greg Olson. I'm Mike Tirico. Greg, this is a passing league. You know that from your days. It's evolved even more into a game in the air. And boy, do we have a couple of quarterbacks who know all about moving their team via the pass. Yeah, and I think we're going to see this ball thrown early and often throughout the game. And anyone who loves offensive football, this is certainly a treat. And you said it, Mike. This league has turned more and more with each passing season into a passing league. If you can't throw, if you can't generate points through the air and explosive plays, it is going to be very difficult to compete and win week in and week out in today's modern NFL. We are ready, and so is Brandon Aubrey to kick this one off. And off we go from spectacular AT&T Stadium. A good return as he takes it across the 30. Here come the 49ers, and they are led by Brock Purdy. You know the story, taken last in the 2022 draft. The last two seasons, he has led the Niners deep in the playoffs. And it's his third season, Greg, as the QB for San Francisco. Mr. Irrelevant. Well, I think it's safe to say, Mike, he has been anything but irrelevant since arriving in the NFL. And he is living proof. It doesn't matter if you're drafted first overall, or in his case, with the very last pick. What does matter is what you do with the opportunity once it's given to you. Nothing real flashy about his game. He simply gets the job done, and that's exactly what his team is counting on him today over these next 60 minutes. And he'll only be able to muster a couple of yards. The veteran Eric Hendricks on the stop. Second down and eight. Out of the gun. It's Purdy. That's into the hands of Jordan Mason. And he's not going to be able to get away. Very good coverage on the perimeter. It goes down as a loss of yards. I think this play is a direct result of his film study. He knew exactly where that ball was going before the play was snapped. And that play recognition, man, it separates a lot of guys in this league and results in a negative play. Third down, Purdy. He's got his tight end, Kittle. And they're going to have this all the way down inside the 30-yard line. Well, they've come out swinging here on this opening drive through the air, and that's exactly what they wanted to do. Generate some early chunk plays and try to get some points. Here's first and ten. A play fake. Now it's Purdy. Right back to Kittle. That's another one. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. Injury on the field, and it is George Kittle who is in some discomfort. Athletic training staff looking at him, so we'll step aside. Here's second and two. They'll throw again with Purdy. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Really nice job there by the defense defending the middle of the field. That is the most valuable real estate on the field. They know every single offense is trying to attack the defense between the hashes so give credit they took away all the throwing lanes and that ball falls incomplete they need two here's purdy open man right side he's got it 
A gain of 11, and it's first and goal. I love the way the ball's been moving around to different guys this drive, Mike. I mean, it really keeps the defense guessing and off balance. And now this defense is going to have to figure out how to keep this offense out of the end zone because it's first and goal. A tight end in motion now. Here's a run. Marked down at the six. Here now, second down and goal. They'll go with him again. He's going to lose yardage here, taken down back at the eight-yard line. How often do we see linebackers be so fast trying to track down the ball carrier that they end up actually overrunning the play and allowing the running back to cut back, but not this guy. Does a great job staying in phase, stretching this ball out sideways, and he brings him down for a loss. Third and goal, Purdy. And he's in. Brock Purdy, touchdown, 49ers. A terrific way to start this one. Not only a touchdown, but a nice long march down the field makes it a long walk back to the bench for the defense. Mike, that's about as good as you can imagine starting a game offensively. To be able to sustain that many plays and be able to cap it off with a touchdown, that is a dream start for this offense. Now Jake Moody for the extra point. The kick is good. And the 49ers will take a 7-0 lead. So, following that touchdown... Moody is back out to kick it off. Cavante Turpin on the return. And this will wind up working out well. He's going to take it up to the 40-yard line. Good return. Cowboys coming out. As usual, it's Dak Prescott leading the way. Led the NFL in touchdown passes, Greg, a season ago. Already his ninth year at the helm for the Cowboys. There's just certain guys, Mike, when they take the field and they step into the huddle, the other 10 players, they just take a little bit of a deeper breath. They're like, man, I'm glad this guy is on our side, and he's certainly one of them. He just brings an element of confidence to everybody else around him, not only in the huddle, but on the sideline, on the defense, the coaching staff. Everyone is better as the result of him being your quarterback. After the loss of three, it is second and 13. Pistol now for Prescott. He's got the open man. That's Jalen Tolbert. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. So you come back out here after watching the opposing team score first. And what you want to do is you got to establish a little early rhythm and get the drive started. Every offensive coordinator has drive starters, meaning it's a completion. It's a run play that we feel great about. It's a screen. Get a little positive energy into that huddle. And what hopefully starts out good ends with you being able to get some points of your own. Prescott on first down. A short throw caught by Ferguson. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. It's a really critical conversion here because after not scoring on your opening drive, you just can't afford to follow that up with a three and out. So you find yourself down 7-0. Sustain this drive, and at the very least, see if you can come away with some points. On the play fake, Dak. Oh, they're on him in a flash, and he's lost the football. How about the defense getting to the quarterback, getting accurate? 
access to the ball, knocking it free, and coming up with the recovery. I'd like to see the quarterback just be a little more secure with the ball, Mike. You can see he's just a little loose, especially when you're operating from the pocket. But give credit to the defender. Nice job attacking the ball, knocking it loose and recovering it. And that is a big takeaway here by this defense. The Niners offense ready to see the football for the second time. They lead seven. And remember now, all turnovers must be reviewed by replay. So this one is going to need a little closer look. At issue was the knee or any other body part except the hand down before the ball comes loose. And are the visuals convincing enough to overturn the call on the field? So that one overturned. They say the runner was down. And that will not be a fumble. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. On play action. Here's Dak. That's to the left side. He's got Ferguson. And he'll get about six before he's taken down. There's no more efficient play in the NFL, Mike, than the play-action passing game. And you can see here why. You make the defense have to honor both the run and the pass, and he's able to pick up a nice gain to his tight end. Here's a third and ten. From the shotgun, it's Dak. He'll let this go towards the end zone. I like the idea of taking your shot there on third down, pushing the ball downfield, looking for the touchdown. But now as it brings up fourth down, you're already this close. You're in field goal range, but do you keep that offense on the field and try to maintain possession and see if you can come away with six? Aubrey's kick is good. And the Cowboys are on the board. It's seven to three. So after one, 7-3 is our score. We're back to Arlington in a moment. Both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. Debo Samuel going to get a chance to return it. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The Niners offense ready now for their second drive. The leap sits at four. So they'll try to add on to that. This drive begins with first and ten. Out of the gun, here's Purdy. Gets this one into the hands of Jawan Jennings. They'll mark him down up at the 44-yard line. These crossing concepts are frequently used, Mike, throughout the entire game, all across the league. And what it does is it creates a lot of natural rubs. You run out the backside of the defense and rely heavily on the yards after the catch, and it's exactly how they're able to pick up this big game. They'll motion over Samuel. Throwing on first down is Purdy. He'll find his open man. That's Brandon Ayuk. It's pretty evident, Mike, when a quarterback and his wide receiver are operating on the exact same page. The anticipation, the timing, the accuracy of the, both the route and the ball. And when they're working together like this, that's the definition of teach tape. Purdy now on second down. That's complete to Mason. And that's going to be a first down. A pickup of nine. 
Nice pickup here to the back. And what really stands out about this drive is the ability of the quarterback to really spread the ball around to multiple targets and put so much pressure on the defense deciding who do they want to account for because no matter who they try to take away, quarterback's doing a nice job of finding the open man. Back to the air is Purdy. Checking it down. This one is caught. And he will not get away. Terrific open field tackle. Gets him down behind the line receiver just finds himself in a really nice groove and there's these weird times in the game Mike where it just seems like every ball comes your way every play they call you're wide open and you just find yourself in one of those grooves that athletes talk about so they got to continue to ride the hot hand because right now on that field there's no mistake in who it is he'll throw it left and has his running back defensive coordinators preach all the time play past defense with vision it's exactly the case here. They're able to rally to the ball, keep that to a short game. They need to get it to the 27. This is third down. And some problems communicating on third down, and that's going to be a delay. So after the five yards are walked off, they face third and long. Purdy going to put it up again. He'll try to run for it. And Purdy going to smartly hit the deck here as he's able to pick up the first down in the process. The defense blows a chance to get off the field as the offense converts third and 14. You certainly can't fault the secondary here. The coverage was almost too good downfield on third down. The quarterback realized quickly there was nowhere for him to go with the ball, decides to become a runner. He's able to pick up the first down and some. So they move inside the 20, first and 10 at the 18. They'll run. This is Mason. And the 49ers are going to be set up with a first and goal. Good running. Gets them down to about the four-yard line. Francisco taking care of business on the ground to get the score and Greg the big guys up front they deserve some praise on that one absolutely Mike and it really only takes one guy to distort the defense and win his block but in this case give credit to the entire unit they did their job and they reward their offense with a touchdown on is Moody to add the extra point He's got it. And the 49ers extend their advantage to 14 to 3. So, following that touchdown, Moody is back out to kick it off. On the return, here's Turpin. And a solid run back there. He'll get this out past the 30-yard line. The Cowboys offense ready to take over for their second possession. They trail now 14-3, so an 11-point deficit. 
as they start things out with first and ten. A shotgun snap for Prescott. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. They'll try again here. Second and ten. Now, man, back for a second go around with the Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott. They'll mark him down up at the 44-yard line. And a nice pickup there by the back with an explosive run play. And it's important to point out, Mike, his offensive play caller, he's still working off that opening script. It doesn't necessarily have to just be the first possession using formations, using run game and pass. Unmask the defense and understand where to take the play calling as the game unfolds. He'll work his way ahead for a gain of about four. Two minutes to go here till halftime. Greg and I back to Arlington at AT&T Stadium after this. Here's second and six. Operating from the gun. Here's Dak. He's got a man. It's CeeDee Lamb. They'll empty out the backfield as they come up for third and a yard. To throw is Prescott. He's got his tight end. That's Ferguson. And he will have the first down. The drive will continue after a pickup of eight. Really nice job here by the quarterback, understanding what did he need to pick up a fresh set of downs. In this case, that underneath drag route was all it took. Get the ball into the hands of your receiver. Pick up a first down. From the 39, here's a first and 10. Here's Dak to throw. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. They'll come up on a second down and eight. To the air again. Prescott. To the left side. Caught by Lamb. His second grab on this drive. Good for 11 yards, but most importantly, a first down. You find yourself in these two-minute drills, Mike. They're pretty critical moments in the game. They go a long way to deciding the outcome, so... It makes a lot of sense. You start looking for your top target, and he comes through for him there. The open man is Tolbert, and he takes it down to the 15-yard line. That's a timeout for Dallas. It's their second. Clock stops with a little under a minute to go in this second quarter. Line of scrimmage is the 15. It's first and 10. They'll throw again. Dak gets it away quickly, and it's caught. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. Prescott again. That's hauled in at the two. And they'll stop him just short of the goal line, but they are going to have enough to convert. It's going to be first and goal. And this is the blueprint, Mike. The ability to sustain and maintain possession and methodically move the ball down the field in the process. 
they've been in complete control. They've been able to dictate what they want to do offensively and make the defense react. The defense has had no answers up until this point. And now the next step is, can they come away with six? Because anything less than that, after this long drive, would be a bit of a letdown. This has been some kind of march downfield now. Can they pay it off with six? It's first and goal. And that's going to wind up uncatchable out of the back of the end zone. It's incomplete. They went for it all on that one and just a little bit off. Ball winds up hitting the ground. They've got to move forward. The opportunities are out there. Better execution, better location, and they got some big plays in their future. Again, Prescott to the air. And that is caught in the end zone. He's in. Avante Turpin. Touchdown, Dallas. Pretty interesting sequence of play calls here, Mike. You can tell going into this game, they felt their matchups down here deep in the tight red zone were better through the air than maybe they were necessarily on the ground. We see two back-to-back -back throws. The second one, though, results in a touchdown. Brandon Aubrey now for the extra point. It's up and good. And the Cowboys are back within four. It is 14 to 10. Very little time remaining in this first half as this kick is away. This one is fielded in the end zone, but he decides not to bring it out. So they'll take over at the 30-yard line. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and 10. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. They'll mark them down up at the 44-yard line. And the offense will elect to burn a timeout. Five seconds remaining in this second quarter. on first down. He'll let one go downfield for Jennings. And he's got it! And he's going to be taken down as time runs out on this first half of play. Okay, Michael, thanks very much. And with that, we welcome you all into our EA Sports studios. This is the Halftime Report. The second half, straight ahead. Time to get back to it. And for the call, let's rejoin Mike Tirico and Greg Olson. Coach, thank you. Both teams trying to find the right formula to come out on top in this second half. Coming up. Third quarter set to commence. And we're back underway here on EA Sports. This one brought in at the 16-yard line. Nice job on the return. He's down close to the 35-yard line. The Cowboys offense ready to get going again. They'll have it first in this third quarter. They trail by four. A touchdown gives them the lead. Drive begins with first and ten. To throw is Dak. 
They go sideline, and he stays in bounds. Got the feet down in time. It's a first down. This is why the timing of these routes is so critical. If that ball is thrown a little bit later, he's unable to keep his feet in bounds, but instead the quarterback is on time and accurate, and the receiver does a nice job not only securing the catch, but ensuring that both feet remain in bounds. Play action now. Prescott. Open man. Downfield. It's C.D. Lamb. And they're going to be set up in the red zone. They've got it inside the 15. If you want to score points at a high level in the NFL, you have to generate explosive plays. And after that big chunk pass play, they find themselves now down there in the red zone. And this is where you have to finish drives. Space getting tight here. Down to the 13-yard line. They work first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Dak. In the middle of the field, it's taken by C.D. Lamb. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. Similar to a tight end, the slot receiver is often considered the safety blanket. He makes all the difficult catches, tends to be a little bit more around the line of scrimmage, and so far today, he's certainly lived up to that reputation. On second down, it's Dak. He's got it at the three. And they'll stop him just short of the goal line, but they are going to have enough to convert. It's going to be first and goal. I think the rest of those receivers in the huddle have all come to the realization that they might not be getting a target anytime soon. And frankly, I don't blame them. I mean, they're riding the hot hand, and rightfully so. Until this defense proves that they can stop him in the passing game, I expect the quarterback to just continue to go back to him time and time again. From the one, second and goal. They'll run. Here's Elliott. And this time he will work his way into the end zone. Ezekiel Elliott. Touchdown, Cowboys. Good drive. They kept the ball. Greg, they moved it effectively down the field and finish it off on the ground for the touchdown. So often, Mike, we see teams work on a great drive to get down here close, only to settle for a field goal. But in this case, give them a lot of credit. They put a great drive together, but they're able to capitalize and finish it off with six. Now, Aubrey for the extra point. The kick is good. And the Cowboys move out to a three-point edge, 17-14. to 14. The kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away on the return it's Ronnie Bell nice job by the return team as he takes it across the 30 yard line the 49ers offense trotting back out for their first involvement of this second half this one has been tight so far a field goal separating the two sides as this drive kicks off with first and ten Short pass here, caught by his tight end. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. They'll work now on second and four. From the shotgun, it's Purdy. 
That's complete to Mason. And it'll be a short pickup that's not enough for the first down. What an advantage it brings a defense when you have cornerbacks that are such willing tacklers. It just brings an extra element to the ability to defend the entire field. And this is a great example here why. Third and a yard. Needing a yard, they throw with Purdy. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. It's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say, well, their quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots. Usually that doesn't go hand in hand. So it's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day where he's completed passes at a highly efficient rate. A fair catch signaled, and they'll have it just outside their own 20. The Cowboys' offense about ready to take over once more. They lead by a field goal as they go to work with a first and 10. The drive starts with a run, and it's Elliott. That one good for a dozen, and a very quick first down. So as we take a look at the box score, Mike, you realize here, they got the lead, we're in the second half, but they don't have a lot of rush yards. It's because they use the passing game to score points and establish the lead. Now, how we judge their run game is from here to the end of the game. Can they pile up yards now in the second half and close this game out? And a nice game there on first down. He takes it forward for eight yards. They'll come to the line now on second and two. Again, here's Zeke. And that'll be a gain of two and a first down. This is a situation that play callers love to be in, Mike. They have all their options on the table. Second and short. Play action pass. You can run. In this case, they choose to keep it on the ground. Play it safe. Pick up the first down. Dak going to throw it here on first down. Now a screen set up for Elliott. Great example of first down efficiency. You don't always have to go for the big play. But put yourself in a friendly second down. Now you have equal opportunity to both run and pass. Here's second and three to go. Now Prescott. Who else? Another catch for his favorite target. That catch puts him over the 100-yard mark here tonight. And it gives the team a first down. I'd like to see them do a better job here the rest of the game, Mike, just disguising the coverage from the pre-snap look to the post-snap look. And, and what I mean is, when you have a quarterback at this level and what they see before the ball's in their hands is the exact same thing they see once they do get the ball, everything is just so much easier for them to process. Change the look, change the coverages, move your safeties, make the quarterback have to process with the ball in his hand. They'll come up here first and 10. A shotgun snap for Prescott. And he'll gain yardage and able to get down at the end of the play. Take a look at his eyes. You can see the quarterback clearly going through all of his progressions, and he's quick to realize there's nowhere to go with this ball. He makes the right decision and gets out of there, picks up some good yardage, and gets down on the ground. On second down, here comes Zeke. And not much there. He's back to the original line. No gain on that one. What makes great linebackers stand out from the pack is their instincts and their vision. In this case, the linebacker has his keys 
brings him right where the ball is going, and he's able to make a play at the point of attack and keep this to a no game. Prescott on third and two. Uh, nowhere to get away, and he's going to go down. That is Leonard Floyd, the veteran who got to the quarterback. This is a great reminder of why it's so important to have great offensive tackles. When you get beat so fast off the edge, the quarterback has nowhere to go in the pocket to escape, and that's what happens. So, pressure kick coming now for Brandon Aubrey. This to stretch the lead to more than a field goal. This one has plenty of leg, and it is good. So, it is still a one-score game, but a little more breathing room now. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Samuel going to see what he can do. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The Niners offense getting set to get back to work. The deficit, six points. A touchdown here would be mighty nice for the offense. See what they can do on this drive. First and ten. Shotgun snap to Purdy. This throw left side caught by Kittle. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. Off the play fake, Purdy. A very quick throw there, but not on the same page with his target. That's incomplete. Brandon Ayuk, the intended receiver there. Third down coming up. Can't exactly put my finger on it, but it just seems like this entire game, like this passing game and this quarterback specifically, they've just been off. And whether it's missing these big shots downfield like he did there or just simple underneath layups, there's just something about him today that doesn't look right. And... And it's a big part of the reason they find themselves trailing here in the fourth quarter. Purdy on target to Ayuk, and the 49ers have a first down. And this is a tricky part of the game for any defense. You find yourself protecting a late lead, and the age-old question is, do you remain aggressive? Do you try to just keep the ball from being thrown over your head and make everything be tackled and played in front of you? That's what every defensive coordinator struggles with, so they can't get too soft here as they try to hold on to this lead here late. Not a whole lot there as he'll get to midfield, and that's all. Here's a second and nine. Off the bootleg, it's Purdy. A throw on the move is caught. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play. And it wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion. And then really, it's the yards after catch that did the rest. And... That's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and that was a good one there. When a defense has speed to the ball like this group does, it makes these wide receiver screens really challenging because all those fast linebackers and defensive backs that are chasing the ball carrier, 
the offensive line are the ones responsible for him, and sometimes that's just a speed mismatch, and they can't get out in front. Play clock down to zero. That's going to be a delay. They'll come up now for second down. So Kittle comes in motion. Throwing on second down is Purdy. That's Ayuk with it on the left side. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. That's catch three just on this drive. And it gets his team a first down. So, two minutes to play here in the second half. Greg and I back on EA Sports after this. Plenty of time, all three timeouts left. It's first and ten. He'll check this down to the running back. And he's not going to be able to get away. Very good coverage on the perimeter. It goes down as a loss of yards. Now, on second and long. They'll drop to throw. He'll get it into the hands of Kittle. And he's into the end zone. George Kittle. Touchdown, 49ers. Well, there's still some time remaining, but what a sequence of events here, Mike. I mean, late in the game, they get the touchdown that they needed to tie it, and now they can take the lead with the extra point. So, not home yet. Still a critical extra point here to break the top. A critical extra point is up and good. They have taken a one-point lead here in the late stages of this one. So now playing with the lead after that fourth quarter touchdown. Time to kick it back the other way. On the return, here's Turpin. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. There's C.D. Lamb heading back out there with the rest of his Cowboys teammates. And he's had some kind of game. They made it a point to get him involved early. Boy, did that pay great dividends to this point. They'll come up for first and ten. Back to throw is Prescott. Catch is made. That is Schoonmaker. First time they've looked his way all game long. But he comes through with the grab and a first down. Not a whole lot complicated about this play, Mike. That was understanding where the holes of the defense were. Remember, in this zone coverage, you got to find green grass. Get past the first down marker, be friendly to the quarterback, and then the ball has to be out on time before those zone defenders can react to the receiver. It's exactly how it played out here. You can drop all the fancy plays you want, but when the quarterback and the receiver see it through the same set of eyes, it's virtually impossible to stop. Now, second and inches. Up 
operating from the gun. Here's Dak. And that's a first down. It will be a gain of eight. To the air again, Prescott. He's got that complete to Turpin. He's got a touchdown on the books from earlier, and that catch gets him a first down. One of the things that makes him one of the best receivers in the NFL, Mike, is his ability to create separation downfield. He makes it so easy for his quarterback to not only find him, but to constantly create a nice throwing window like he did right there. Final minute, still two timeouts remaining as we get to first and ten. Here's Elliott. And good blocking up front, paving the way for a gain of eight on the ground. Here's second down. Elliott. And the Cowboys are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. on the ground down to the goal line no signal is he in they'll say it did not break the play but a real solid gain on first and goal this just shows why you can't count on just one guy to take him down he's a powerful enough runner you gotta have guys coming in support when that first hit is made it takes a team effort to stop him especially once he gets going So, pressure kick coming now for Brandon Aubrey. This a potential game winner. Timeout 49ers. That is their second. And it comes with 15 seconds to play in the game. So, pressure kick coming now for Brandon Aubrey. This one he's got to have. This kick is good. And they take the lead in the final minute of this game. Well, there's no more pressure-filled spot for a kicker than that one right here, Mike. I mean, it's very simple. You make it, you win. You miss it, you lose. And what's he do? He comes through to not only give his team the lead, but most likely the victory. So the kickoff team out there one final time in the final minute as they kick it away. This one will be taken in the end zone. No run back forthcoming. And the ball coming out to the 30-yard line. This is first and 10. Throwing from the gun is Purdy. He'll find his tight end, Kittle, on the right side. Remember, he had the touchdown catch the last time they had the football. Here, he's got a first down. Purdy. 
That'll be incomplete. And now we are down to likely just one more play. A great pass rush is like a closer in baseball. When you bring them into the game, it's all but over. And it's exactly the case here. It doesn't result necessarily in a sack, but it was the hit that altered the throw just enough to end that play before it started. He'll let one go downfield for Jennings. And this is going to be a touchdown. What a finish. They win it on the final play. What a defensive breakdown, Mike. It's the last play of the game. You have to keep everything in front of you and then just rally tackle. But instead, they let him get behind the defense. He does the rest after the catch. And this is going to take a while for them to get over this one. That is just a brutal loss. So a win here for our visitors, the 49ers. This was a game where both offenses were up and down the field, marching the ball at will, matching each other point for point. But in the end, they got a few more defensive stops than their opponents did. And that was the difference in this one. So that'll just about do it for Greg Olson and our entire team. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say good night from Arlington.